From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Diane Parker. Miller has our holiday forecast, plus an interactive Montana brewery map hits the World Wide Web. But first, our top stories. Happening today, President Joe Biden gave public remarks at a breakfast in D.C. celebrating the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Yesterday, he delivered remarks from Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, becoming the first sitting president to deliver a Sunday sermon from the historic church where Dr. King served as pastor until his assassination in 1968. He offered praise for King and his legacy, noting that the civil rights pioneer was born in a nation where segregation was a tragic fact of life. Now here in Montana, fees to Glacier and Yellowstone National Park have been waived for the holiday. The National Park Service is waiving entry fees to all national parks today. Runners in a historically packed race that began in Nebraska hit the finish line in Montana this weekend. MTN's Kelsey Marison explains. This monument back here marks the end point for the race, but the starting point is actually all the way in Nebraska. A tribute run honoring the Cheyenne ancestors and the challenges they faced. We teach them about their culture, the history, the language, and who we are as a Cheyenne people and how resilient we are. A forum for healing and cultural preservation, honoring the Cheyenne ancestors who were held captive by the U.S. Army in the 1870s. We were trying to be taken to Indian Territory in Oklahoma. Um, they got us as far as Fort Robinson, Nebraska. But a decision had to be made to stay or to take off running. They made the decision on the 9th about 10.30 at night to break out and they had women, children, elders, warriors, everybody. A lot of them were killed at the door as it was opened um, and then from there they ran. They literally ran for their lives and they came back to what is our homeland today. Micah Highwalking is one of the event organizers from Yellowbird, but she started out as a runner 10 years ago. She says almost 70 youth runners participated in this year's 27th annual run and runners are grateful for the opportunity to learn about their culture. I'm Anna Winterhawk. In my youth days, I didn't really understand what half of this meant, but growing up, I'm able to understand more of the ways, more of our traditions, and more of what we went through. I learned a little bit more about my tribe and the past, and just to represent my, my family, my grandpa, my, all my elders I grew up with and known. Learning more and strengthening their connection to their ancestors. I've been on the run for maybe about 10 to 12 years. You just kind of feel like what our ancestors went through, you know, it's uh, very emotional. Running for their ancestors and representing resilience. The resilience is built within their blood and that's what we remind them of. They remember that resiliency and that strength and that power and they draw from it to continue on. In Busby, Kelsey Marison, MTN News. New this noon, House Republicans are requesting that the White House turn over all information related to its searches that uncovered classified documents at President Biden's Delaware home and a former office. Lawmakers want to see visitor logs from the president's residence in Wilmington to determine who might have had access to the classified material and how the documents got there. Over the weekend, the White House said five additional pages of classified documents were discovered at Mr. Biden's home last week. $371, that's how much extra cash the typical American spent last month due to inflation compared to a year ago. Now, the good news is the cost of living shock appears to be easing and paychecks are starting to catch up. At the inflation peak last June, the typical family spent an additional $502 per month compared with the year before. Now, those extra expenses apply to everything from rent to groceries to utilities. And that's a look at some of the day's top stories. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday so far as we kick off another work week. A lot of folks not having to work today because of the national holiday, which is a good thing because a lot of folks this morning, when we had some really uh, oogie weather, I'll say, icy roads, uh, reduced visibility because of the fog. So it wasn't the best for the traveling conditions this morning. Temperature wise this week, trying to cool back down to seasonal. Now for some, we're still gonna be a couple of degrees above the norm, but it won't be as warm as it has been. You can see temperatures today, mainly in the 20s and 30s, could even see some 40s. 
this afternoon. And that's kind of where we'll hover May 20s, 30s, 40s for the rest of this week. All right, that atmospheric river over to our west, will it make its way into our area? I'll let you know. Come on. The beer business in Montana is booming. Many folks making it their mission to try as many treasure state breweries as possible. As MTN's Alina Howder reports, that just got a little bit easier thanks to a brand new website. Wondering which brewery to go to next? Well, two Montana men have got you covered. They created a website that shows every brewery, distillery, and winery here in the state, making sure that you have a drink in every hand. Shane's always had some, some great, like, grandiose ideas. He's the... I like to think of him as kind of like the ideas guy. Montana natives Shane Mary and Josh Rakowski met in the Army years ago, and despite living in different states now, their friendship remains stronger than ever thanks to a unique idea. We'd always look up to find what breweries were in the area, and I started amassing lists on the computer, you know, for towns that we went to. That list turned into an Excel spreadsheet, and with the help of Josh, that spreadsheet became the website, a drink in every hand, showing every single brewery, distillery, and cider works in the treasure state. And I'm a data miner. I love doing it. I love sitting down on the computer and just linking and linking and linking and finding it. Shane compiles the list and does the research while Josh maintains the website. Each of the different types of locations has different, they have different icons for them. Clicking on any of the icons on this interactive map will give you all the information you need. And on the right panel, you know, we got the location details, the, the address, and then if you click get me there, that'll actually open a uh, Google Maps with driving oh, cool. directly to the location. Shane and Josh are constantly updating the site, making sure it's as accurate as possible. We have things in the future that we want to try to do also that they have the passports where you get the actual stamp. We would like to do that on your phone and online. And whether you're a brewery owner or a customer, Shane and Josh want to hear from you. We try to do our best to just kind of pull off of their sites and just kind of, you know, paraphrase some things, but if they have any feedback for us too, you know, we'll, we'll greatly appreciate that. And the two hope that their website helps in supporting local business. Our thing is just to support local, support your local brewery, your, you know, distilleries, go to small, small places and spend money. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News. Up next, Miller's in with another check of the day's weather. Plus, we take you to Bozeman as cross-country ski season is in full swing. The MTN New News continues right after this.